Have you ever worked on a hanging heater? Do you know the three most common problems that I find in the field? Every time I work on a hanging heater, I have one of these problems. That's it. This is exactly what it's going to be. Well, today on Tips for Technicians, I'm going to be talking about a hanging heater. So if you want to know more, definitely stay tuned. And if you haven't hit subscribe, hit that now and let's go ahead and get started. Also, I'm going to talk about the difference between double wall pipe and single wall vent pipe and talk about what the difference is and when you install single wall, when do you install double wall. So. Without further ado, the first problem that you run into is a bad thermocouple. And all the thermocouple does is it's in line with the flame. It's actually installed right here in front of this little pilot tube where the pilot tube assembly is. And this pilot tube, the gas flows through here and you light it. And after you light it, it's lit. You're actually holding down the button on the gas valve, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. And this actually senses the flame, sends a signal back to the gas valve, letting it know it's lit. Usually you have to hold down the button, the pilot tube valve, 30 seconds, and that gives this enough time to warm up. After it senses the flame, the flame should not go out. This should stay lit, okay? Then you turn your gas valve from pilot to on, and you're good to go. It should light, which you're gonna see in the field here in a minute, because I'm actually gonna show you a video of me working on a hanging heater. It's a little bit dark, you can't really see, but you're gonna get it, okay? Because I actually light it. I hold the button down and I show that to you in the video, but bad thermocouple, that's definitely a problem. Now, this is not a most common problem, but it is a problem I run into. There's a little a tube in here and it's called an orifice, okay? It's called a, a pilot orifice, and it's got a little bitty hole for that gas to shoot in there because you don't want a bunch of gas coming in here. Uh, anyways, this can actually become rusted over, so you might need to take this loose if you're not getting gas through this pilot tube assembly here, okay? So this is one of the most common problems. It's a bad thermocouple. It's easy to diagnose because if you light, if the flame's lit, and then you hold it down for 30 seconds, and then it goes back out, this is bad. Make sure it's clean. If it's not clean, then you need to clean it with some sandpaper. And if it is clean and it's really old, 10 years old, you probably need to change one. The price for this is around 20 or $30. It's not very much, uh, depending on where you're at, depends on how much your contractor charges for that or how much you charge for it. This right here is a gas valve, okay? And this is the, the button here that I push down when I wanna light it, but I gotta make sure that it's on pilot, okay? because I can't push it down unless it's on pilot. See that? Push it down on pilot, all right? Once it's lit, hold this down for 30 seconds and then move it to on, okay? Gas valve is the second most common problem, okay? And I wouldn't say it's the most common in order, just take these as the most common problems, right? Now you need to make sure that you check 24 volts because once it's lit, okay, and then your uh, gas valve has power, 24 volts here, then the gas valve should open. If you have gas coming in, but no gas going out and you got 24 volts, your gas valve's bad. All right, now, the most common problem that I run into is your flue stopped up. Because where this terminates out the roof, wherever the, you know, the cap is, if, it's not, if it doesn't have a screen over it, sometimes birds will get in there. If birds get in here, they work, they work their way down the pipe, they go to the inducer assembly, they get stuck. Okay, you gotta actually take the inducer assembly loose or some of the pipe to get the birds out. That is very common to have birds stuck in the flue pipe. Now, let's go to the field, but before we do that, we're gonna talk about where to install which one of these, okay? Now, if your vent pipe, your exhaust, your flue pipe is concealed where you cannot get to it, you have to have this vent right here. This is double wall, this is type P B vent. Okay, where it is exposed and touching something else, say it's touching this wood, okay? That's a no-no. But if you're close to something, um, especially combustible, you don't need to be there, but you need to make sure you're using double wall. Okay, now the only place you would use single wall is where you know it's going through metal, it's not going through wood, uh, where it's, um, and, you know, again, you don't need it, really don't even need to have this touching even though this doesn't really get hot. I just make it best practice for it not to touch anything. But this, where you're penetrating through some type of wood, uh, this is where you'd use double wall uh, vent pipe. Where you're penetrating through metal, you would use single wall. And where you're not touching anything, you can use single wall. Um, when you're outside, you gotta use this type of pipe. This is double wall. Um, when you go out, uh, and you're underneath the uh, soffit of a house, you've actually got to run it up past the soffit around two feet. Um, and different codes apply for different areas. Now this, I might be telling you this and it might not be the case for you. 
Uh, it is the case for me. I gotta pick up my single wall pipe here. This is single wall, gets very, very hot, okay? The difference between single wall and double wall is this is not gonna get hot on the outside. You're actually gonna be able to touch it. Single wall gets very, very hot, okay? Again, single wall is where it's not gonna be concealed, where it's open, where it's not touching anything, so nothing can get hot, and it's penetrating through a metal. Um, then you can use single wall. This right here, if it's penetrating through wood, if it's concealed, and if it's outside, it usually needs to be double wall. Uh, this is very, very expensive. So make sure you don't mess up on your pricing on your job because this is super expensive compared to this. So this can make or break you when it comes to your pricing on your job if you make a mistake, which everybody makes mistakes. I make mistakes in the field every other day because it's a constant learning process. There's so much to learn. If you want to learn more about hanging heaters, I suggest you pick a brand like Modine HVAC. You click on their website, click on one of the different types of units, whether it's power vented, separated combustion, whatever type of unit you're wanting to look at. You go to product documents, you click on that service manual, and then you're going to be able to look at vertical category, vent system, installation, venting. Uh, you've got all kinds of information here about venting so you guys can figure out what you need to know. If you have questions, let me know. That's why I'm here. I'm here to help. So let's go to the field. Let's take a look at this hanging. All right. So this right here is my gas valve. And you can see right here, this little copper line comes into the gas valve. And that's where the signal is produced, letting the gas valve know the flame is lit. Okay. The button I'm pushing down is what you hold down to get the pilot valve to um, let gas go through the pilot assembly. Okay. And you can see that right now it's lit, okay? And then this is the pilot tube where the gas comes in. This is the thermocouple. Thermocouple gets warm and thermocouple senses. And actually I can probably just turn on the light here, can I? No, I can't. Okay, let me get a flashlight. So the thermocouple is what senses the uh, flame and sends back a signal to the uh, gas valve. And that's actually what I had a problem with was the thermocouple. Uh, how I knew the thermocouple was bad, I looked at it, it looked pretty rusted. And usually if you can't clean them off and get them to work, then you got to replace them. And I actually replaced that one. Very easy to change. Just screws in there. It's got a little clip that holds the little thermocouple or thermal rod up in there. So after you hold it and you get a lighter and you put a lighter up there or a piece of paper or a match, whatever way you've got to light it, uh, then you turn the valve. Let me get my flashlight here and this says on. So now I can turn it to on. And once I turn it to on, then it should light, let the gas loose and light all of the burners. So now we've got some good flame action going on. Uh, once it gets heated up, your fan will kick on. This is a natural draft. So um, it's got a natural exhaust draft. Um, they have power vented as well, where you have a powered motor uh, that helps to um, help the, the flame to exhaust out the flu. So let's see what happens. I actually had to change the thermocouple and the gas valve. Problems you can run into, bad gas valve. Uh, you need to make sure that you check inlet pressure. There's the screw for the inlet pressure you need to make sure you at least if it's natural gas you got seven inches coming in and then on your outlet you need to make sure that we got three and a half inches because this is natural gas there goes my motor so yeah if you got a bad thermocouple what can happen is uh, you light it you hold this button down for 30 seconds after it's lit that way you can warm up the thermocouple and when you let go if the thermocouple um, doesn't send the signal back the flame won't stay lit so your flame will go out. Our flame is lit. Burners are lit. I had gas coming in. Check my 24 volts. I got two wires that actually um, engage the solenoid of the gas valve. And if you've got voltage there and you got gas in, you don't have gas out, then you got a bad gas valve. So we got heat now, good to go. All right, make sure you always shut off your shut off. Uh, make sure you tighten your union back when you get done. Make sure it always has a drip leg before the equipment. Hope you guys learned something. And remember, I'll keep you cool if you let me. 
Got old mercury thermostat. Hanging heaters working. Resner.